All right, Sue, we are still at the CBC we are. Media Day, and I don't mean still as in we're still here, but we're <laughs> still here, still which is here. just kind of awesome. Here. And we got to talk to Sarinda and Roger last year when they introduced their show, Coroner. They're back for season two. Yeah. Which is yeah. kind of cool. Actually, it isn't kind of cool. It is cool. <laughs> it is. Right? That's Talk another one I was a little stressed out about before it got picked up. Mm -hmm. like, Come on. Oh. Yes. Sure. We've got stuff to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so we're digging into another eight episodes. Mm -hmm. Looking good, right? Yes, mm -hmm. she's very happy. You guys have seen the first episode? No. None. We've got okay. I just yeah. No problem. A lot I of things to watch. I actually discussed it with myself because I was on a time constraint, and I'm like, yes. the problem is I'm also a fan of the show. Oh. Uh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> fast forward through yeah. it. Right? Yeah. Not a problem. Yeah, it's much better to watch it. I, I like to binge stuff. So I've got to wait till at least two or three episodes. Two or three. <laughs> <laughs> and that way you can we do leave like, you in yeah. a cliffhanger, so. Yeah. 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 I, like, I read the synopsis and I was like, oh, shut the fuck up. Come on. Mm -hmm. So. Don't mm. start slow. How, yeah. how no. easy was it to slip back into the characters after stepping away? Especially going into it, like Sue said, it doesn't start slow. It doesn't start slow. No. Um, I, I feel like there was so much character development in the first season that it was a lot easier. I think last season, because we block shot four episodes at the same time with a brand yeah, new character oh God, and, you nice. know, developing facial mm -hmm. tics and panic attacks and yeah. the cadence and the relationships mm -hmm. and, and going back and forth. Oh, no, no, I really know you by this point. No, 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 wait. No, no, no. Yeah, where are it's we like, at? Where are we have this on here? Okay, no, no, no. This is yeah. when I first oh, met you. And it's, yeah, 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 so yeah, it's yeah. hard. It was, it was difficult that way, but it was sort of this master class in character work. Yes. So luckily, when we, when I got, at least for me, when I got to the second season, um, she, I just had to sort of like pick her up off the shelf and then put her back in and lock her in and be like, okay, this is Jenny. And then we put the new experiences exactly. and the evolution of her trauma and the evolution of her family life uh, on top of that. So she now, she's now there. I've got, I, I've got her dialed in. Yeah, yeah. We learned what we, you know, did about the character and we figured the characters out. And then now, yeah, you're like, okay, okay put the suit back on, yeah. Yeah. wear it, whatever, but, oh, there's something here, oh, i got to alter this a little bit and fix this a little <laughs> bit, and so now you just, like, you know, tweak things, and then you add the new experiences, new lessons you've learned, and his new leash on life and his career, if you will, and finding things out and discovering the truth, things like that, you know. And I like that we got a little more into him as the last season went on. Yes. Not backstory. even backstory, but like present story. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And yeah, and actually you find out a little bit more. You meet some of his family members. Well, so, yeah. <laughs> so, yes. Yes. Yeah, we expand upon a lot of what happened in the first season, which is lovely, is that it's not now. Like, now you know them, now we're moving on from yeah. there. It's, it's We've sort of dragged, and I know that was, for us, like important with our character work, was to really figure out how to bring those through lines through, not just in the story points, but also emotionally, mm -hmm. mentally, character-wise, to just really make sure that, that those characters that people fell in love with, and the reason why we're coming back for a second season, are very yeah. uh, prevalent in the, in the front of the show. Well, you hear a lot of people talk about that when they when they talk about going into the second or third season. They say that the first season is all about you know the world building. You have to set everything up. Yes. So once you got the second season, now you can just play. You can play with your characters. You can develop. You can because yeah. the audience is invested at that point. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. And I want to go back to what you said about uh, all the trauma and whatnot, especially coming from both of you, coming to that as, a, as an actor, because when you spoke in another interview, nobody sees these things in mm -hmm. yeah. So you've got to find where you are and yeah. see at the right point. How difficult is that for you guys to be like, okay, at this point I have to be like up here, and then I have to bump it up a notch for like two days later in the same scene? It, it's, it's a lot of work. Uh, it's a lot of preparation. Like, mm. for me, every week on Sundays, I have about a three-hour block <laughs> where I block out the week. And so I have a binder. I was, I've become famous for my binder. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right? Even Adrian is here. We're stickies, we're stickies. Yeah, we're stickies so now, mind. last time my binder was, like, really thick and aggressive, and now it's, like, a, a little more calm. <laughs> Don't it down a little. But, it's, but it, I, have, I have sort of the little uh, tabs for certain things that I need to know, like when I'm taking out of end, when I have an anxiety attack, mm -hmm. when I was sleepwalking when whatever it might be and so I break down for the week and so as I go through and it's not it's not choices like I'm going to make an inflection on this word it's right. going where was I before this where and am I after yeah. this yeah. and what have I shot in this 
in this episode that I have to watch for the continuation. Mm -hmm. So the way that I left that scene, I can't be like, ah, and walk into the next one like, ha, ha. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 and that's part of the, that's the tricky part about television is doing that. And even for us, like we had a situation where we lost a location. Um, for like uh, episode three, but then in episode seven we have to go back and shoot something out we shot in episode three, oh, no. and now you have to go oh, back there to this thing going, oh my god, because, how was I feeling? Because, yeah, was I mean, and yeah, and you also are in physically different places, mentally different places, and then <laughs> now you have to like get back there and go, okay, no, no, but I, I can't do that because I've already done this, and so that's the work a lot of times yeah. is doing that before you get there. And as she said, you know, when you're getting the new episodes and things like that. Your weekends are spent going, okay, this is what we're doing this week. Okay, this is where I need to be. Boom, boom, boom. And then you go through and, you know, most of the work's done before we get to set. It's like, it has to be done. Or else, yeah. You know. Especially shooting, we have seven day episodes and the way yeah. that we shoot and, and shoot how big the show is. And yeah. yeah, you gotta, you don't have any time off. <laughs> no. You got work to do. In terms of shooting the episodes, like you said, you've got a seven day shoot window. Um, at the start of the season, did you have a all the scripts or were the scripts delivered week by week? We had up to six. Yeah. Okay. Kind of the last yeah. Year. yeah, which is a rarity in this industry. You don't normally get that. Um, you normally get like sort of a through line of where your character's going and the understanding of it. But because uh, because of how heavily um, for me my characters in the show, it works out per block. I get about a day off. And so it would be impossible for me to prep the next episodes if, you didn't. if I didn't do it. And I already would come home at night and study for an hour, and we're doing 14-hour days, and then do turn around. And then on and then top of that, there's rewrites. Yeah. Right? No. I, I don't live a life. I have, zero, I have my dog. I wake up, and he looks at me. He's like, is today the day we go for a hike? I'm like, six more days, buddy. Almost there. But he comes to work, and everybody's so sweet to him. They're so good. It's ridiculous. It's a lovely family. Family um, on set. It's a really lovely family. Um, Adrian. It's Adrian. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, Roger, this might sound like an odd question. Mm -hmm. um, could you? You've done a lot of genre work. Like you've done science fiction. Yes. You've done, you've been on shows. <laughs> how do you approach playing a role like this as opposed to? I don't want to use the word cartoony, but like a hyper reality. Hyper reality. You know, but to me, a character is a character is a character, and so there really isn't that much difference. It's because you have to prep this character and you tell you have to tell the truth of this character. Mm. Even if it's in the most fantastic setting and crazy environment. <laughs> yes, you can be a little bigger and crazier <laughs> and wilder in certain settings, but your character is still that character and you still have to figure out what makes them tick and tell this person's story. And so I, 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 you don't... Um, it, it's, for me, people go, what's the difference between stage and television? Mm. Stage, you have to be big and you have to be yeah. loud and you have to project so the person at the back of the room can hear it on television you're right here so yeah. you can you know the, every subtlety that. count you know what I mean and so when you see a theatrical actor sometimes and they're on the screen it's you know what I mean sometimes it doesn't work because they don't know how to tone it down and so there's just a that's 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 different but the craft itself is the same no matter what the genre now obviously there's a lot of terminology used <laughs> How many takes are we talking for some of that? <laughs> That's the work. That's, That's the, work. the hour at night. <laughs> yeah. so I'm glad she has more of those. I have <laughs> all of them. Yeah. I, I say them one more. Yeah, you say them one more. <laughs> 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 That's basically it. It's, I mean, not to diminish anything he does, because there's a lot of things Thanks. that he has to do as well. You do, you do. Oh, um, no, <laughs> medical jargon is some of my least favorite. I mean, I like, I would say 95% of the time, I can just bang it out. There are certain words. Well, what was the opioids? I couldn't say the other day. Not that that's a crazy <laughs> that a, word, yeah, that's but I had funny. to say yeah. something. There was a word before opioids that made it really hard to say opioids. Exotic opioids. Exotic opioids. Exotic opioids. Yeah. It's such a hard thing to say. In the middle of a sentence. In the middle of a yeah. sentence. Like, can you do the blood test uh, for anything, you know, for, for like, testing ex for exotic, exotic opioids? I can't she's do going it. Back I to it cannot now. do now it. She's back. So there's things like that where I'm just like, Ugh. But there are other ones that are just so difficult to say. So if you came to set and you searched, like, our 
forensic papers and things, you might see them written down on random things, <laughs> like on the side of an organ or like <laughs> on like my medical paper where I'm doing like one of these, and I'm like, chances are, da -da 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 -da. like you know, there's just times that, Don't tell that, them that I have to. I mean, I'll out myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm it's literally you do the best you can. Yeah. It is such a tight schedule. Um, but I study and I study very hard and I take it very seriously and uh, you do what you can where you are and, and there's definitely times that yeah. my lines are written on things and you're four hours. a new drinking game then. See if you can spot when Jenny's When spot. Jenny's sick. Exactly. 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 See what, and we all have it. He also knows that I never carry sides on me so I'll just be like, I do this now. And then like I a just, child and he and knows I just, what I want. I just, I just like Roger. Like and if somebody doesn't know what that is, I probably look like such an asshole. I'm like, <laughs> and then he just puts his eye on him. Yeah, the snapping I can't do, but I'm just like, hey. like, and it's like, yeah. all right. And then he just gives, and then I look yeah. at them and then I give them back. But I have real pockets. Yeah, I don't have pockets half the time. Yeah. That's not true. I always have pockets. I just don't like carrying them. She doesn't like carrying them. No, my pockets That's I can't true. hide the sides in. Uh, That's the thing. It's like if I put them the in my back pocket. Or I don't it's like we don't we don't have suit jacket pockets mm -hmm. like the, as women. So yeah, see, I can't hide. It. That's where his sides always yeah. are. <laughs> so I know that that's where he hides them. Yeah. Secret. Yeah. But the best part though is that you do balance all that terminology, and it's important to make sure it's balanced because yeah. you have to sound like this. Yeah, absolutely. And she. I believe. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, if you look at my Google history, it's quite terrifying. Like, I'm Googling, That's like, all true. these horrific ways to die and terminology. Like, I'm on an FBI list. <laughs> yeah, then, oh, yeah. For sure. And I'm like, how does a lung the, look the when whatever. it's poisoned? And then yeah. I'm like, how is it, like... Oh, 100% I'm on somebody's list. Yeah. But that's the thing is, like, to big, to, Jenny has two very different sides. There's the personal side and there's the work side. And while she might not be you know, um, completely uh, capable in one, she's very capable in the other. And so that's the thing is like, I can be having a real shit day today, but I could show up for press and you'll have no idea. And it's the way that you compartmentalize it. It's yeah. the way that we suppress things or the ways that we're like, we're gonna do this a little later. And the thing is, is Jenny has put something in the later pile for a long time and she's suppressed things for a lot. And in the second season, they start to bubble up. Just as in the first sort of the, the dog was, that uh, was that sort of representation for her. This season, she seems to have a, a little bit of a bout with sleepwalking, and so she's waking up in different places. She's doing some very odd things. It puts a strain on her own life, on her on her work, work life, life, and her personal life with Liam. And then people who care about you are trying to yeah. like help, say, hey, 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 yeah, she's, take a she's step back. To lose it a little bit. There's some serious yeah, things that happen with her sleepwalking yeah. this season. So there's and she's great at accepting help. Oh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. If it's exactly. one thing Jenny does. Are you talking about Serinda or Jen? Oh, no. Oh! oh. 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 <laughs> I get help all the time. You I'm help just, me with my size. I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm just Yeah. Oh, lovely. Wonderful. <laughs> On that note. On that note. Ta-ta. <laughs> we should have that. That was awesome. Oh, Wonderful. No.